Traffic on Thai expressways is up nearly 12.5% in the past three years, according to authorities. Much of the roadways in the capital, and indeed around the country, are being revamped to deal with the extra load. A wanted American pedophile has been nabbed in Koh Samui as he arrived on a ferry. Jackson Hall travelled on fake papers and was nabbed after a nationwide search requested by US authorities who wanted him back for child assault in America. It's believed that he'd worked briefly as a teacher in several areas, including Rayong, before he was outed. With the UK refusing Uber, a renewal of their licence to operate as a taxi company there, that's the UK added to the growing list of countries that have banned the app, including Thailand. Deemed not fit and proper to hold a higher licence, Uber, a plan that took off with a bang, is now firing on just three cylinders in many regions of the world. Over 100 pounds of ivory was confiscated at Bangkok's main airport. That was discovered here, sent as furniture from the Congo. Customs were suspicious and x-rayed the package, and no one appeared to be trying to collect it either. That investigation continues. On Phuket, a few beaches have allowed swimming after a blanket ban in the area. How long that will last is unknown, as heavy storms are predicted for that region, and indeed all of the Gulf this week. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, 810 million baht is the magic figure set by the Chonburi governor to fix the storm drainage problem. With present pipes designed for a city of over a decade ago, if we're to have a drainage system that works for today's Pattaya, it's all basically going to need digging up and replacing. A disruption for several years perhaps, but for the city's future, it might be the fix that's needed. The Ocean Marina boat show set for the end of November is expected to turn over 2 billion baht, according to the organisers. That show alone is guaranteed to include displays by manufacturers around the world, and not one to be missed by boating fans, with over 6,000 sets of feet predicted to visit. Flooding in some areas this weekend was considerable after 15 hours of rain on Saturday night. Rural areas took it worse, seeing some roads temporarily unaccessible. That cleared mostly by Sunday morning. An American has been arrested after his ex-girlfriend turned him into police. It seems that he persuaded her to access people's ID cards and use them to buy goods on the internet before selling them. Hector Carmain, a 47-year-old, could have netted up to a million baht, according to local media, and was arrested in a hotel room in Pattaya. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 33 and a guarantee of rain at some time, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. First with English news on radio and television every single day. And keeping you in touch with Thailand and of course Pattaya, the city of fun.